What is going on guys that call me Abby? Welcome to another video on the channel today. Today's video we're gonna do an unlimited XP run, a XP farming location for you guys. We just completed an unlimited resource and supply run. If you missed that video, I'll link that down below as well as put an annotation on screen at the end of the video. Just a quick PSA on my last video, that method, that farming run was not patched. It still works 110%. If you want more information on that, check my top comment on that video. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and turn on those notifications if you do enjoy the content so you never have to miss a ghost Recon Wildlands video, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are all beautiful. So, for this run, I am going to recommend in the item skill tree um, four frag grenades again, just like my last video. You can get this done with the underbarrel grenade launcher attachment, but I prefer the four frags. Makes my life a little bit easier. And you are going to be set up in the province Inca Camina, that is in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. You're going to choose the rally point Inca Camino Bravo, and then you're going to choose the mission, the Northern Plain. So this mission is going to grant you a thousand experience every single time you do perform it. You're going to have to destroy four Four cocaine shipments, hence the four grenades, uh, like I picked earlier in the video. I'm gonna put a timer up on screen at the start of this method so you guys can see just how long it takes between two runs. No dying or going down and out is, is required for this method, so put the uh, the difficulty setting on the easiest possible, so arcade is gonna work well for you guys. And unlike in my last video, which didn't require the vehicle drop-off rebel support skill, you guys are going to need it for this method. Uh, that helicopter is super important as the, uh, the mission itself is 2.4 kilometers away, give or take, and not only that, it's on top of a goddamn mountain. So get that helicopter as fast as you possibly can. Head over to Inca Camina Bravo so you guys can start this run. So essentially what we're doing here is we're going to blow up these four cocaine shipments. Again, however you like, whether it's grenades or grenade launchers, or you can even call it a mortar if you want. Um, destroy those four uh, shipments as fast as you can. It'll grant you your 1,000 experience. You could re-teleport to Inca Camina Bravo, and you're on your way. You can repeat the run as many times as you'd like. Uh, the problem here is that sometimes, and it's a variable in this run, just keep this in mind, sometimes hit or miss, it may or may not happen, a couple of choppers do spawn on top of you. It's very spontaneous, and again, it doesn't always happen, but when it does, you guys have to be ready. So, since we're playing on arcade, it's not the biggest of deals. You guys won't take too much damage, so you don't have to worry about going down. Uh, just complete the mission as normal. Destroy the four cocaine shipments in however method, however way you would like. Uh, but the problem is, you can't teleport while you have threat and enemies are spotting you, and you're engaged. So the solution would be disengaging as fast as you possibly can. And the question is, how are you going to disengage while you're on top of a mountain, and there are a couple of choppers shooting at you from almost every direction? Well, that's a pretty good question, and it took me a few tries of running around the mountain to figure out how I wanted to do this, and what I came up with the most effective way of disengaging from these choppers that are, again, uh, may or may not spawn for you guys, um, is base jumping off the mountain back towards Inca Camina Bravo. So, follow the path that I do take up the mountain to disengage. You're simply going to want to spam the jump button and then pull back as far as you can so you really don't, you know, hit the ground as hard as possible. I I've fucked this up multiple times, so base jumping is something you guys are going to have to get used to, but when you do, it's gonna feel super rewarding and not only that it's super badass like I love the base jumping in this game it feels like an amazing experience overall and it adds some like diversity to the whole grind and farming method so you guys can keep your sanity when you base jump so the first farming run does conclude after you do hit the ground after base jumping uh, so you want to get on the ground and disengage as fast as possible and as soon as that threat meter is gone and you're on the ground you can proceed to teleport back to the rally point and repeat the run a second time so we're gonna do it again uh, each time trying to increase efficiency we don't always do do that because I'm only human and I suck, uh, but with each passing time, I hope you guys do get better at it. And again, there is a good chance that these choppers will not spawn for you. I did this maybe five or six times, and I will say that the choppers only spawn for me uh, maybe four out of six times. So it is a high chance that it will be there. Again, on this second run, they did spawn again on a second time. So a little bit of bad luck there. It is going to increase the run just a little bit, just because you do have to base jump off the mountain in order to get away and teleport again. But without having those issues of teleportation and aggro and threat um, at play here. The run is actually really, really fast, super efficient, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. I think other than that, uh, the most time-consuming part of the run is honestly driving from your rally point up the mountain. The helicopter controls, again, are a little wonky, but they do work for what they are, and uh, it just takes a really long time to travel that 2.5 kilometers. I wish there was an upgrade to the speed perk on the uh, the helicopters, but uh, that's just me complaining, so I'm pretty confident that a 1,000 experience is pretty much the most you guys can get on story missions um, as of right now. Please correct me if I'm wrong, and if you have a a faster method, please let me know in the comments as well. But we managed to complete the mission itself at about a minute 40 seconds on the first run, and we didn't eventually get um, off to parachuting and base jumping until around the two minute mark, which isn't bad at all. Two minutes for a thousand experience is pretty damn good in my opinion, but we're gonna see if we can improve that just a little bit with this run. Again, the more you guys do this, the more efficient you're gonna be. Taking out these cocaine shipments is going to become second nature. From what I understand, they never have changed location, so they'll always spawn in the same spot. Uh, remember to always re-equip the mission 
mission after you're done uh, with the previous mission after you do teleport sometimes I did forget that so that's a pro tip for you guys just really quickly and don't be afraid to reach for the sky when you're base jumping dudes again you're gonna hit the ground and you're gonna like splat on top of the mountain rocks because I've done it about two or three times before actually getting it but looking at the gameplay we managed to shave off about 10 seconds from our previous time by just simply destroying all the cocaine um, so that's pretty good and then that means our base jump is probably gonna be about 10 seconds ahead of time as well so under two minutes is the golden mark here that you guys are want to hit you guys could probably do it in a minute 30 a minute 45 if you're fast enough and, and I really think that's possible so two minute runs for a thousand experience a pop is not bad at all if you guys are really looking to level and rank up your ghosts get those skill points I mean really get to the end game gameplay so again let me know if you guys have any improvements to this method to make this faster than it already is I know you guys could do it faster um, and I probably could have landed my chopper a little bit closer to the cocaine shipments to try to take them out a little bit faster but it is what it is this is the best I got and I know you guys are gonna do uh, a hell of a lot better so uh, moving on to the top comment of the day actually comments because I got a few of them this time and I appreciate them by the way shooter 3258 says nice video I really like this shit a like for me your like is like really appreciated dude you're the real MVP I appreciate your face thank you for watching the videos Nitro says once again great video man and god damn it Nitro you're great you're all great people all you guys that decided to watch the videos that for some reason thank you for this man I really appreciated this comment and mr. Retz dropped a whammy on me man I'm really glad I found your channel it really helped me on making the decision of whether or not I'm picking up this game. I wouldn't have bought this amazing game without your videos and your thoughts. People care about what I think about Ghost Recon. Anyway, keep on growing your channel, man. I'll continue to support you as a subscriber and a viewer. Much love. If I could hug you right now, I would. If, if I would. I totally would. It's not creepy. It's fine. It's maybe, it's a little weird, but yo, take it. Accept it. Love me. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you do want to be featured on the videos, drop a comment and I might pick it um, in a future video. Thank you guys again. I have been Ampy. I'll see you guys in the next video.